Look into the eyes of an Egyptian scribe. Blue and intent. Thinking higher thoughts and about to write them down on paper. He's wearing a wig. But can we detect his race with his blue eyes, his alkaline nose, and his more European features than anything? Sure, he seems to have some eye makeup around his eyes. Maybe if we looked at his wig a different way and imagined it to be something, well, a little bit controversial. But what if we were to look at his hair and think of it to look a little bit more like a... Oh, a German World War II helmet. Now can we see the race of people that these Egyptians look like? Poor squat. He wants to say something like the ancient Egyptians were mainly black Africans. Beha type in appearance, which we now know are an admixed people in the first place. Then he tries to say that mainly back Africans are perhaps Hyksos, Palestinian, and then there is some Indo-European types. I find that to be odd whenever we find very few Negroids ever depicted in Egypt whatsoever. It's like if it's not pale and just pale as hell, like a Nordic, then they say, oh, see, he's got to be black. Well, they paint themselves with only a few colors, and they use a red ochre symbolic color that's been used all the way from Cro-Magnon burials on in this symbolic red ochre. Uh, Greeks show red ochre in their art, Minoans, Etruscans, Mitanni. The men are shown in this red ochre color, on the fact that they're out doing things and they keep their women pale like you see in all of the Egyptian art that they steer away from and just can't explain along with all the other pale and blonde haired people and stuff around anyhow he's gonna focus on the black component by the way the name of this original video was supposed to have been the sub-saharan history of black Africans but somehow he starts it by talking about not West Africans, which he's catering to and is himself, but East Africans, starts calling on Bejas, which are not even related to West Africans whatsoever. And then now he's going to focus on an invisible black component to Egypt. Oh, it's downplayed. Let's see where they started, Inner Africa. Well, they didn't say they came from Uganda. They didn't say they came from Ethiopia. They made one indication that they came from the beginning of the Nile, but the beginning of the Nile was actually, by their standards, in the middle of the Nile, where there was a place where it actually flowed upriver for 160 kilometers due to a backflow, and it had two giant stones there, and they called it that. Then they also said that they came from the origin of the Nile, which would have been here, but if you look at Herodotus's map, a few things are evident. It's way back in like 400, 360 BC, but you'll find that it shows that the Nile actually goes up and turns and goes all the way way out to West Africa over to Mauritania near the eye of the Sahara and it goes to the Atlas Mountains and it says Atlantis right in front of it. It's amazing and of course the Atlanteans and the ancient Aryans and all that type of stuff and of course North Africa has always been Caucasians since primordial times. No one can prove any different though blacks don't want it, anybody to think so. They want to think that all of Africa, right up to that little point where it connects, must have all been black people during the day. In fact, oh, they snuck all out. They was Greeks. They was Hebrews. They was, no, they was, they was West African primitives that 
before the Bantu expansion never even came out of a small area of West Africa whatsoever. Nice waterfall though. Africa, yes, a multicultural continent with no unity whatsoever. And the Nile Valley, which attaches right up to the edge of the Levant and the Levantin people. Terrible edit job here. Yeah, the Caucasians called it their beloved land. He's going to try to take as dark a Photoshop pictures as he possibly can. The mountains of the moon is not a valid point. It's been debunked far too many times. But I guess this music just faded out. Now he shows a Photoshop picture that's been whited to look like a Negro, and he's going to try to show you as many people that might be Negroes as possible. Anybody who might look slightly Negroid or have any rounded noses, there's nobody like... Early dynastic. Look at that Caucasian. Khufu's grandfather, Huni, third dynasty. Oh, they always like to show this, like there's no fat faced Caucasian people at all either, too. It's gotta be it's gotta be a Negroid. Oh, there maybe there's one. Yeah, lol, there's gotta be one. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at his nose as wide as his freaking mouth. And tell me that it looks at all like the guy on the left. Even his lips are twice that size. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. But he's thinking now. He thinkings. African Americans mainly descend from West Africa, so he, oh, he's gonna sneak that in there. But the comparisons are understandable. It's understandable how you try to mooch on something that's not yours we've all seen this guy before yeah the sphinx who somebody drew that picture of but if you look doesn't have that appearance to him at all they want to blame it on napoleon and now we know of course it's muslims and it always was oh they're going to wash off dark brown paint in an attempt to clean things. They've always got to say, oh, we've been whitewashing. The reason we don't get to see all of Egypt is they're busy painting all the statues to look like whiteies. Like black people are only the people that can braid their hair. You can tell the difference between a Negro and a white person. He's going to show a bunch of them from the 25th dynasty, which actually did have Negroids finally take over for a mere 70 years and get wiped out. Yep, there's the Hyksos and there's Egyptians. Egyptians drawn with the ceremonial color. Hyksos being invaders, which actually ended up being co-rulers. And they were cool with them for a good long time till the Hyksos evasion, which is actually uh, the story of Exodus, by the way. And so, of course, that's always a Caucasian story, too. Yep, notice the lighter colored guy in the middle. He doesn't get out in the sun much. He's an overseer. Somebody that comes out and tells them what they ought to do and goes back in out under the sun. Priests, women, people like that are all drawn pale. Men are all drawn with a symbolic red ochre color. Wait till he finally shows some women, which he avoids badly. Of 
what people are continuously tan skinned around the uh, equator well around the world we have caucasians and rednecks that are pretty much those colors right there living around the equator now if they wore just a little robe around their belly and stayed out in the sun all day they would be that dark but blacks can't seem to realize that caucasians have that magic adaptable melon Strangely, he asks, what color would people use in modern cartoons? Um, whenever they only had a few colors back then, and they used colors symbolically. Uh, so it doesn't matter. I mean, uh, you know, some of these people are green. Uh, so what the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, that's symbolic, but this isn't. Really, really, yeah. Caucasian. That was in a morning picture, a death thing. They, sh they show many people in a death in a coal black color. How disgusting. Yes, we can. She's mourning his death. That's in his coffin. Or his tomb. Alkaline features. No prognostic jaw. Thick eyebrows. Negroes don't have those. Well, the admix ones kind of do. So now they've got to invoke mulattoes out of everybody and pale wives. Oh, I see that Negroid nose. Same lady. That's that's definitely those those thin Negroid lips. Yes. Mulattoes and Caucasians. Blurry ass pictures and then the same pictures over and over again trying to grind it into somebody. How do you get women this damn pale if they're supposed to be Negroes? How do you get blonde haired Negroes? Light wives. How do you get light wives? How do you get light women? How do you get light women? How do you possibly get light women? Look at their skin comparisons. How would you get that? Now you've got to say, oh, they're black and they're doing something symbolic to the white lady. How about they're white and they're doing symbolic to the men, just like they say?
that's not an Egyptian. Black people aren't Egyptians. West Africans aren't even related to the Nubians, the only black people that are around that aren't Egyptians. Even though they took over for 70 years, they'll never be considered Egyptians because they were invaders. That all the way up until then, for 25 Dynasty, has been their primordial enemy. People that were mooching off of them. They domesticated them in the first place. It's kind of disgusting. <coughs> These are not... There they are, giving homage. This is your black people. These are high admix black people. Actually, a lot of these are high admix Caucasians with a lot of black in them. They're not even going the right way with these. These aren't your Egyptians. That's not your Egyptians. They always want to show you this one guy they found with a lot of admix. Oh boy, it's their savior picture. Caucasian. That's not an Egyptian. That's not an Egyptian. That's not an Egyptian. That's not an Egyptian. Oh, here's high ad mix with a lot of hair. Here's an India boy he tries to throw in there. Yeah, they got people from India there too now. We have Caucasian. Dark skinned as hell. Yep, Nubians came in there now. People forget about that and then they say, oh, look, they're always there. Like black people in America trying to act like they're always there. They're not. It's causing a whole lot of interbreeding. And so if you even see things like he's trying to say where they're, oh, in primordial times, before slavery, there was slavery admix. So we look down a myriad of uh, statuaries and stuff here, and there's not a Negroid in the group. There's a lot of blonde-haired people, those scribes and stuff, and tanned-up women a little bit. Oh, here's a fancy one for you. This is Himwenu. He's the vizier and the architect of the Great Pyramid. Can you from here tell what race he is? Let's get a little closer. Can you hear, tell what race he is? Looks more Greek than anything. Isn't that strange? these Caucasians early dynastic stuff too look at this guy here fifth dynasty yeah try yeah try to get as many blackish looking pictures as you can here's another famous scribe Does that look black to you? A little bit. The blue piercing eyes, alkaline nose. Bet you think that's a fro on his head. <laughs> no, he's not. Ha, ha, ha. 